Hello, all my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to February's Collection Obsession Wrap-Up. So, as you know, in February, I was using uh, Pretty Little Studios Ginger Snap Collection, and it was the first time I had bought and used any Pretty Little Studio. I think I may have gotten, you know, a paper here or there, uh, in in some kits, maybe way back when, when I used to get kits. But I had never actually bought any, and definitely not an entire collection. And I absolutely loved working with this. So, I got three layouts done, and I put a fourth here, because I got three full layouts done with the collection that I am calling, you know, my layouts uh, for collection obsession. But then there's a fourth layout that I did use a little bit of the embellishment. So I'm just going to add it here so that I have everything in one spot. All of these have videos, of course, on my channel. And I do have a playlist down below for Collection Obsession. All of the previous months are in that playlist as well. But if you just want to see what I was doing with Collection Obsession, before and now it is all in that playlist so first layout was for a sketch sunday for the first one in february actually and the sketch sunday crew as you know we are playing along with follow a sketch february by sandy skate goddess here on youtube and crystal uh made the this sketch that we used for our first Sunday this month. And I absolutely loved it. A little bit of mixed media, some gorgeous Nicole Jones 911 mushrooms, a little um, corner cluster up here, and this adorable bramble fox bear. And of course, my beloved cranberry bliss sequins. So love, love, love. This will go, of course, in Toddler Diego's album. This I did for Spiegel Mom Scraps. This was one of my Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, DT projects for the month. And I love this one. This pattern paper in the back basically makes a layout just so easy because it's pretty much all done for you. Photo. Um heavily layered here in the middle and popped up on foam. Um, and then I sort of did some tone on tone embellishing some Vicky Booten chipboard stars here, a lovely little heart that I fussy cut, Nicole Jones butterfly. And I'm quite proud of the uh, butterfly trail here that I did with some sequins. Um, I use, again, the sequins, the same thing. I sort of color match them. So I used Hold My Hand, Cranberry Bliss, um, quite a few. I think I used four different mixes on here. Just the date for my title, because this is my second um, month of doing my front door on the first of the month. And it was very different to the first of January. Love, love, love this one. Then this was for February's Mad About Mini Paper Pads that we do on the third Saturday of every month. Crystal and a lot, a lot of our scrappy friends here on YouTube join in and over on Instagram as well. This I So therefore, of course, I used a lot of the 6x6 paper pad from the Ginger Snap Collection. This fun and gorgeous big title piece from Bramble Fox. Again, my beloved mushrooms. A little bit of that uh, die cut uh, chicken wire um, that I die cut out of acetate that I did on the uh, Background Basics 16, the series I do with my friend Helen, my lovely friend Helen on the 16th of every month. Got a little bit of that on here. Just a little bit of packaging technique on the background and a lovely photo of our Elvis. So there we go. And therefore, the fourth layout that I am including is, in fact, my background basics. And as I mentioned, we don't use any pattern paper on 
um, our background basics layout, but I included it here, one, because it is the companion page to um, my Mad About Mini Paper Pads, but also because I used um, a few of the embellishments from the Ginger Snap collection, as well as my own stamps, dies, and some Nicole Jones 911 bits and pieces as well. So I just thought I would pop it here. These are from the Ephemera pack, as is this flower, these lovely bits here, and this branch up at the top. So there you go, my friends. Four, well, three layouts and a bit. And you can see here that I have tons left over. So just here in the back, I have a few scraps. This is, of course, my Bella Boulevard Besties. This I had added in from Stampin' Up, but I have still a lot of the 12 by 12 papers left here. Tons, in fact. Uh, let's have a quick look. Tons of the papers left. And, you know, as you know, um, the idea behind Collection Obsession is not to kill the kit or to use it up, but it's to get us working with it, to, to stop hoarding it, get it out of the bag and play with it. And I've got some beautiful bits here. So I think I'm going to continue working with it a little bit through March for sure. And I think actually what I will do is do what I did last month. And that is bring, get a couple of page kits out of this for March's build a page. These are so, so cute. I really do have to figure something out, to, something to do with these. I'm, I'm going to do some fussy cutting for sure. Love, love, love this one. Can even use the packaging. This one is going to be a bit of a challenge, so I probably should actually challenge myself to use it. Perfect background. So I have a lot of the 12 by 12 sheets left. Ooh, I see this one. This is going to be a nice, sort of nice, easy one. This is almost like a, well, it's not almost, it is a pre-made background. So you're definitely going to see some of these coming back in, I think it will be build a page. And in March, I have still some six by six papers left. Uh, a lot of the ephemera, these fun little stickers. I have bits here that I use that I die cut stamped uh, and used for my background basics. I had added a few um, bits in here, some Nicole Jones 911 viewfinders, some Happy Life alphas, and some other alphas here. Um, and... Let's see, I just want to show you a bit here. So I also have, now these I didn't touch. These came, these came in my one last box from the lovely Sandra at Scrap of Your Joy when she closed the shop. I had bought two of these little tile alphabets and I didn't use any of them. Didn't use any of the tags either. So I will make an effort to get some of those used up in March. And even though I used a lot of the 6x6, six six, I have a lot left. So there you go, my friends. I will definitely play a little bit more in March. I'm going to try and get two page kits, I think, uh, for build a page using this. And then I'll put it back in my stash, maybe waiting for autumn. And alas, yet again, <laughs> I put my Lugo drops in here and I did not use them. I really, really, friends, you have to keep on me in March. I have got to use Nouveau Drops on some layouts in March. And Scrapping Amy has been doing some lives over in my Scrappy Lake when we did the virtual crops. It's been so much fun having her do some lives again. And she uses them, and she got me using them way back. So I need to do her proud, and, and Karen as well. Do them proud and get some of these on some layouts. So there you go, my friends. That is me for February's collection obsession. 
Thank you so, so much for joining me. Make sure you go down below and see what everybody else, Scylla and all the lovelies that played along with Collection Obsession in February, what they have for you. Their links will be down below and I'll be back very, very soon. Bye for now.